In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to implement an interface in Java. Now, as you can see in our very basic um, example here, we have an interface named animal with its corresponding methods, eat and make sound. And because uh, these methods are in, in, it are in an interface, um, these methods are implicitly abstract. So they have no behavior, no instructions. <clears throat> then we have our class dog here which is going to be implementing the uh, interface animal, thus overriding um, the methods in the interface. So when a class implements an interface, you can think of the class as, um, for example, signing a contract, so agreeing to perform the specific behaviors of the interface, if you will. If a class does not perform all the behaviors of of the interface, the class must declare itself as abstract. Well, as you can see here, the class dog is uh, performing all of the behaviors or the methods, if you prefer, of the interface. So we don't have to declare the class dog as abstract. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the class dog here. Now, as you can see, a class uses the implements keyword, like uh, as you can see here, implements. Um, to implement an interface. The implements keyword appears in the class declaration following the extends, the extends portion of the uh, declaration. Well, in this example, um, dog isn't a subclass of any other class. So that's why we don't have the extends portion in the declaration. So just for the sake of argument, <coughs> if dog was um, a subclass of, uh, let's say, a class mammal, we would declare it this way, public class dog extends mammal implements animal. So that's how we would declare it. So while we're on the subject of uh, implementation or, or implementing interfaces, uh, there are three notions or three rules that you must know. The first one is a class can implement more than one interface at a time. The second is a class can extend only one class but implement many interfaces. So in other words, a class can implement more than one interface at a time. <clears throat> and then finally, the third rule is an interface can extend other interfaces uh, similarly to the way that a class can extend another class. So those are three notions that you have to keep uh, in mind. So uh, now we're going to test our program, but just to recap, we have our interface animal with the uh, these abstract methods <clears throat> and then we have our class dog which is going to be implementing the interface animal thus um, uh, overriding the methods of the interface as you can see here so in our um, main program here as you can see we're instantiating an object dog from the class dog uh, and then we're uh, going to be executing the methods uh, from the uh, interface animal but overridden in the class dog, like so. So let's run the program. <clears throat> and as you can see, dog eats, dog eats, dog makes a sound, so it works perfectly fine. Um, in the second step, I'm going to be showing you how to use the concept of polymorphism with interfaces. So uh, meet me in the next step. In this step we're going to be seeing how to implement multiple interfaces uh, with the same class while at the same time uh, seeing how to use the concept of polymorphism when instantiating an object from that class. So <clears throat> in this example we have two interfaces animal1 and animal2. Both uh, interfaces have their own set of methods. So animal1 has uh, the eat and make sound methods and animal2 walk and run methods. And then we have our class dog here, which is implementing both uh, interfaces, uh, thus overriding all of, the, um, all of the methods from both of these interfaces, which as you can see is the case. So let's look briefly at the code because you already know how to implement interfaces now. So <clears throat> animal1 interface, as I said, we have our two methods. Animal2 also has its own set of methods. Dog is implementing 
both the animal and um, animal one and animal two interface and as you can see it's overriding each of the methods from each of those um, interfaces so if we take a look at our <clears throat> main program now thanks to the concept of polymorphism we can write we can instantiate a uh, object type animal one which as you'll notice is the uh, interface with the first interface and but while using the constructor from um, the dog class same principle here we can instantiate a second object dog2 type animal2 so the second interface but again using the constructor from the dog class and then just to test this <coughs> we're uh, executing one method per object so uh, in this case dog1 is executing the eat method and dog2 is executing the walk method so let's run this as you can see the program works fine dog eats dog walks so uh, that's how you implement uh, interfaces in Java